Well, hey y'all, welcome back to Sarge's Mess Hall, the place where we cook every single army recipe by the recipe card now. We're gonna follow it step by step. So come on, come learn with me. Today we are going to be cooking grilled cheese. Now this is another short order item. I know y'all gonna be excited. It goes great with tomato soup. So come on, let's get on in that kitchen and get going. All right now, children, we back on short order. We're making the none other but the grilled cheese. I've seen so many people make this wrong. It ain't hard, y'all. It's grilled cheese. We got four steps. We're going to need two slices of bread. We're going to need two slices of cheese and some butter. Now, what I've done already is I've already prepped my two slices of bread and my two slices of cheese. Now, this is the viable tool right here. That's a paintbrush. I don't know what brand, I don't know who makes it, but paintbrush, horsehair, it does the job of spreading my pre-made butter. I, two tablespoons, I threw it in the microwave, boom, melted butter. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, now hands washed now, you wash them before you touch any food. Now, there ain't no meat products on this one. We ain't doing a grilled ham and cheese. So you don't need to wash your hands. Well, you do but you don't need to wear gloves. When you're dealing with ready to eat products, you ain't cooking it, you need gloves on. Cool. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna close this on up. My hands are washed, my hands are clean. And I've done countless of grilled cheese sandwiches in my days. You're gonna get your butt all in, just like painting the wall. But it, it don't get on right. You're gonna butter both sides. I'm so good I can take a whole stack of bread Stack it up that high, pre-make all my sandwiches, and you're just gonna, gonna pre, pre butter them on up, get them all nice and buttery, and get Paula Dean up in here. And the pedal paddle came say hi, say hi, pistol. All right, the kitty cat's gonna help. And now that this is all nice and prepped, buttered on both sides, two count them two slices of bread and two whole slices of cheese i'm gonna come on over to our main battle station the stove all right children we back on the main battle station the stove i ain't got no griddle so this is what we're gonna have to use all right we're using this here little black frying pan we only doing one little grilled cheese it's all right we're gonna be it it's just fine. This is going to be my lunch. I'll eat it right on. It's good. Get, get, get yourself some little tomato soup or some chicken noodle. Mm. That is the best. So we're on step number three, which is we're going to grill it on 400 degrees until it is nice and light and golden brown. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. So we've on a recipe card now. So we're going to grab this bad boy up right here. We have that. Oh, yeah. We got that. Just gonna let it grill until it's nice and light and golden brown. Well, no. The recipe card says grill on 400 degrees until sandwiches are lightly browned on each side and the cheese is melted. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now there is a note right here. In step number three, sandwiches may be browned in a convection oven at 425 degrees for five minutes, but I, I ain't gonna do all of that. Nope. If you can, grill it. It's the only way to do it. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this dirty plate right here. Yeah, give it a little bit of up and around. Now to check on it, you can just Grab it right here. Lift slightly. Oh, doggy, we ready for this flip? It's already done. It's already. Oh man, look at that. Now, if it spreads apart a little bit, just go ahead and try to tempt it back on. But you know what? It's fine just the way it is. Just God intended. Get a happy little grilled cheese sandwich. Mm, it should look just like that. You don't want no hockey pucks on that grill. And make sure that. That grilled cheese, it's it's got a nice tan to it. It's seen some sun. It knows what it does. All right, that should be about ready. We're going to check the other side. Just going to get a little bit up underneath there. And we're going to flip. Mm, 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 mm. Don't that look good? 
come on, try to, try to, try to pull some cool moves on you. Oh, boy, it's ready and it is done. I'm just gonna put that, flip that right on there. Mm. I'm gonna shut the heat off because we don't need it no more. We done. What you gonna do? We gonna move on to step number four. And it says, cut each sandwich in half. Stir it hot. You gotta have that CCP at 140 or higher. All right. Now, I don't know about you, but my personal favorite is to cut it diagonally. I'm just taking my spatula. You can take your food turner. I think a bacon scraper works real well. And you just run it up along that side. It's nice and cut. Mm, 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 mm. Irresistible. You got that good cheese spread. Look at that right there. Mm. And that's it. Well, hey, y'all. I'm glad y'all stopped by Sarge's Mess Hall. You know, you're going to be giving me proud out there cooking nice, bland army recipes. But remember, you can always add to the recipe card, but you can't take it away. If you're going to add to, make sure to give it your defect manager, your first cook, your shift leader. All right? Doing me proud now. Keep out in the kitchen. We're going to get some good cooking in, all right? And make sure to thank your local combat vets, and you all come back now. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and tell all your friends.